awkward silence. I'm trying to remember what I was gonna say, but um, I am currently waiting for for my friend to come over, and I've got a lot of things running through my head right now nice to vent once in a while to something that can't talk back to me <laughs> unlike a human and I mean I got pets but I kind of feel awkward still talking to my cat <laughs> but um yeah <laughs> so I had this church lock in where you basically get locked into the church overnight and you're with a whole bunch of your friends well I was like we should do a Ouija board in the church considering there's a ghost. And we did. <laughs> and before everybody jumps into the, oh no, that's a really bad idea, nah, all that stuff like that, like how I shouldn't do it and how I shouldn't have done it and how that's dangerous, I know. But as you get to know me personally on a personal level, I'm a very reckless person because somewhere in the back of my mind I think that I can handle all this and I can't but I do it anyway so anyway we did it <laughs> and one of our friends Kyle had found out and he told the pastor and they were trying to catch us doing it <laughs> of in which they didn't because they're just really stupid it was blatantly obvious but it worked, we did our thing, and it's the next day after I've been home. It's Sunday. Mom gets home from church, she's like, the pastor's coming over, he wants to talk to you. And I was like, fuck. So, I'm texting Kyle. I was like, you just got me in so much trouble with Pastor Hess. And he's literally bawling and crying and freaking out pastor came over and then shit hit the fan like cause at this point he didn't know anything about my spiritual beliefs and he still thought I was Christian no <laughs> so everything hit the fan so that's just adding on to all of this stress and the thing that they kept bring that he kept bringing up while he was over was how like <laughs> everything is worshiping the devil like tarot cards raising the devil Ouija boards contacting the devil the devil comes in all forms and that all the gods I believe in are the devil and it's just like pretty sure they're not the devil I can't it's like <laughs> I'm like what are you trying to scare me with e e eternal damnation that I don't believe in it's utterly like, stupid I'm sorry just realized how much it's been shaking. It's on like a pile of blankets on a bed, so sorry. But, <sighs> yeah. And then the stuff with this friend, it's just very stressful on top of it. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do about this. Like, I don't know. I feel like the boyfriend who keeps taking back his cheating girlfriend, basically. And it's just, I go back, and I'm happy, but in my head, I'm just like, you're stupid, because it's just going to happen again, and you damn sure know the next time it happens again, if she ever contacts you again, you're going to go right back. And that's how I'm feeling right now in this situation, and I don't know what to do. And I know she's going to be watching this because she's subbed to my channel. And I really don't even give a fuck at this point because she knows how I am. She knows how I feel about it. But it's just like, I really, on one hand, I really, really love her and I want her back in my life. And on the other hand, it's the fact that she fucked me over. <laughs> Anybody can give me some advice. I don't give a, a damn what you are, who you are race orient sexual orientation religion beliefs atheist satanist buddhist hinduism islamic pastor has your cat anything please just really need some advice 
Okay. Talk to you guys later.